Hey, what is going on YouTube? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today coming with the In Motion Climber Scooter. And as you can tell from the box, this is a dual motor setup, but it has a compact design, which is one of the most intriguing parts about this particular scooter. It has IP56 rating, which uh, enables you to kind of go through puddles and maybe a little bit of rain, but don't abuse it. It is not fully waterproof. So on here, we can see we have the charger. It charges at 40 uh, two volts according to this particular charger so maybe that's why it takes about nine hours for a complete charge this one comes with a maximum speed of 23.7 miles so let's just say about 24 miles and 38 kilometers also it charges in like I said about nine hours it has two 750 watt motors uh, the battery is a 42 volt 533 watt hours uh, which is equivalent to about uh, 14, 15 amp hours, give or take. It has a net weight of about 20.7 kilograms. And in pounds, that would be about almost 50 pounds, I believe. Also, it has a max uh, hill climb capacity of 36%. This is the highest I've ever seen for a compact scooter. And... This one also has electronic braking and it uses also a disc brake on the rear. And overall guys, it is a very impressive unit. It even uses a application that you can uh, pair with the display to control certain settings. So the manuals are pretty uh, straightforward. It basically warns you on the things that you shouldn't be doing. We have the hardware to mount here, the handlebar, which is two screws on the rear and two screws on the front. Then we have to put on the kickstand, which is one of the first scooters that I see that you have to install this uh, particular equipment. So the kickstand is just uh, two screws, this is size number five Allen. And uh, yeah, make sure they are quite tight because of the vibration. You don't want this coming loose on you. And the latch system is just a one step. As you can tell, it has like a little clip here in the front. You press it and then uh, remove the latch and it folds up. So we have the brake lever, that's the throttle. And the handle grips are covered with these uh, wraps. And yeah, I mean, so far it seems like a very simplistic setup, nothing overly complicated. And so this is the little uh, display in which uh, only comes with a single button. Uh, this one doesn't come with any type of like secondary settings like the P settings and whatnot. Uh, we do have a little uh, handbell. And so to inflate the tires, it is 2.5 to 3.5 bars, which is about 45 PSI. And uh, I did about 48 on the rear. And so this is where you charge it. This is how you download the application. There's a QR code. Just simply scan it and wait until it downloads. Of course, you have to sign up to it. And in this case, I had to do it to pair. Just turn on your scooter and immediately it recognizes it. And then, of course, you simply tap on the icon. And uh, it's going to prompt you to certain agreements. And uh, on here, we can see we can uh, change the speeds. The maximum is the S which uh, takes you to 24 miles an hour. You can also change how much braking power you want for the electric brake. And so that's the headlight, as you guys can tell. It is a simple one click. And then to change the speeds directly from here, you double press it, but you have to activate it on the app before it's able to change the speeds. So we have walking mode, dry mode, and then this is uh, sports mode. And it comes already in miles per hour, which is what I prefer. Well, we are now ready here with the in motion climber. We are at uh, some park here in Lake Worth, Florida, which is about 20 minutes away from my home. I never been here before, so hopefully everything goes as planned. Today's a Sunday. People are out here now and this park is crowded. Um, but anyways, we have the scooter fully charged and the speed that we are currently on, it's on sport. So this is the walking speed. We're gonna start with this one here. Uh, this is actually quite fast for walking. Uh, I mean, I can't imagine anybody walking at this speed. It's more like speed walking. Uh, but yes, it goes up to four miles an hour. That's it for the walking speed. Let's go ahead and try here the driving speed. 
and immediately you can tell that from three miles an hour there's a big jump right now we went to about let's see here I think this is gonna take us up to like 15 miles an hour approximately and there it is we're doing 13 15 look at that guys 17 18 19 so there you have it it takes you to about 19 miles an hour so now for the last speed we're gonna try sports mode we have pedestrians around so we have to be careful but i'll try to give you that max speed uh, on video but i can tell you right now the maximum that i was able to go and i weighed 216 216 pounds approximately um i was able to do 26 so immediately you can tell the torque on this thing is just absolutely phenomenal guys in that sense that uh this thing is just amazing for a compact scooter i mean right now we're doing 22 as you can tell and i'm going to try to pass this gentleman here and it's hard to to get to the 26 here because i have to stop we have curves and um yeah right now we have it on 21 let's see 22 22 hopefully 23 the speedometer here on the scooter says 23 not any longer though but yes guys it'll be a little bit difficult to complete that uh, speed test just take my word for it hopefully i'll have the opportunity to test it later but that's pretty much it for the speed test guys so walking speed three miles an hour a drive mode 90 miles an hour and then sports mode up to 26 miles an hour I just dropped my phone there for a second I forgot to adjust the little side uh, grips here for the phone mount anyways guys our next test here will be a stopping power um, you have a lot of roots underneath this little pathway and so it makes it super jumpy this is why I dropped my phone but I'll try my best here to complete a stopping power all right guys so here we go in three two one let's pass these little bumpy parts here we go okay dogs we were doing about 22 miles an hour and that took a good I don't know like 15 18 feet approximately to come to a complete stop uh, keep in mind that we only have one functional uh, brake on the rear, okay, which is uh, by functional I mean uh, mechanical brake. And on the front, we have electronic braking. Just to give you a quick sample on the torque, right now I'm not moving, so we're going to start from zero to about 20 miles, and we're going to see how long that takes. So here we go. I mean, the takeoff on this thing is just absolutely amazing, guys and there we go we just reached 20 miles you will see that on the screen here how long it took to get there i guess we came here to a dead end as you can tell they are uh, doing a, a lot of uh, construction in this area well we don't have hills today to climb unfortunately we have this little bell which uh, it does the job in getting people's attention i just wish that it was a horn one of those electronic horns to me that's a lot more effective and probably a lot more durable because this is a mechanical system and the electronic horn is uh well i just said it is electronic and to me that's uh, a lot more reliable this is spring powered also on the inside and it can break at any time as per the lighting uh this scooter does the job quite well and uh, it is not adjustable that's the only sad news about it uh, talking about the headlight but the tail light is uh, also not adjustable and it does the job quite well it's easy to see uh, we don't have any turn signals unfortunately uh, but that's okay i mean this is designed as a uh, scooter for local use even though it has a maximum range of 35 miles 
it is designed for local commuting nothing too crazy mainly on sidewalks as i'm using it right now uh, but man does it have a lot of torque and overall power i mean we can't deny the fact that it has 1500 watts in total power 42 volts so this scooter is no joke and for the price of 799 you guys are getting something of high quality keep in mind this same company sells scooters that go uh, past the four thousand dollar mark they sell uh, one in particular which i had my eyes on that can do up to 68 miles an hour so this company is not one of those no brand companies this company actually uh, has a lot of reputation and this scooter in particular guys has a lot of qualities i'm talking about this thing is just super smooth uh the power's there the braking everything is great i mean we don't even get squeaky noises coming from the brakes this rubber mat right here uh, does get dirty very quickly as you can tell i've only used the scooter a handful of times and uh, it gets dirty very very quickly and it's hard to get it off as well and we don't have a removable battery on this particular scooter i do like the app because it does provide a lot of information and our batteries are 74 percent i did use this on my own time and i never recharged it i used it around the house around my neighborhood and so i did like maybe six miles or so and so yes i never charged it and we are at about 74 percent keep in mind that this scooter provides a maximum range of 35 it doesn't mean that you will get 35 it means that it has the potential to do that much we do have the option for uh, cruise and so that's what we're going to test next here all right guys so to activate the cruise control super simple all you have to do is hold your speed steady for around two or three seconds as with many other uh, manufacturers and once you do that then you're going to see the little uh, cruise control icon hard to see here through the camera i'm not even sure if you guys can actually see the display but yes i'm not hitting the throttle and i keep moving here on the scooter so yes you can set it up to any speed it's super super easy and i also noticed that it can fluctuate a mile or two and it'll still lock it unlike other scooters if you fluctuate that mile or two it doesn't do it with this one you don't have to worry about it it does it regardless guys i'm even climbing a hill right now and it does it like nothing happened so this is really cool well we just made a quick stop here to enjoy the view beautiful day as i've been saying uh, perfect day to ride scooters and this thing has been holding quite nicely guys if i forgot to mention which i think i didn't this thing is ip56 certified as well which means that it can sustain a splash of water it can also hold a little bit of rain just don't submerge it underwater because you might regret it and uh, so far i'm telling you it's been a very impressive scooter and you know actually it shouldn't be you know something to be impressed about in motion is a high quality brand and they have demonstrated it here even with a budget friendly e-scooter we're talking about 799 dollars uh, after a discount it used to be 1000 but even if it was 1000 i can see how this has the value to still be worth that amount of money well guys that will conclude today's unboxing setup and review of the inmotion climber if you guys are looking for something that is able to climb hills with ease just like their slogan says right here on the side of the steering post then this is a perfect scooter for that purpose keep in mind that this is not a rugged heavy scooter it is ideal for transportation as it is what we consider to be a compact scooter and for a compact size scooter this is one of the most powerful that i've seen in a very very long time as a matter of fact i think this is the most powerful ever that i've had and a lot of it has to do because of the dual motors 1500 watt uh, peak power and uh, is able to climb pretty much any hill with ease they have a 35 percent hill uh, capacity and uh, that's quite promising guys i'm here in florida unfortunately we don't have uh, strong hills and um, well i do apologize for not being able to bring that but just take my word for it based on the power and the torque that this thing carries 
I wouldn't doubt that it's able to do just that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, and share. Click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this. And I'll see you on my next one.